Officials are trying to figure out how to bring the kids back in the fall. In a time of a pandemic, it is a challenge. It is. School boards and administrators are strategizing. What will the school year look like? WFMZ Sarah Madonna looks at one virtual school board meeting happening tonight. Mass staying six feet apart have become part of our normal routine right now and that will carry into the school year. It's definitely a balancing act. I mean, you you, you look at what's good for students and, and staff. Now that Pennsylvania is in the green phase, school districts have the green light to reopen schools and Quakertown school board member Brian Reimers says surveys from parents in his district indicate they're ready. There's a, a lot of people that want to put their kids back. Uh, I think in the original survey, it, it was roughly skewed to about 65% or so, something like that, uh, of parents that were either comfortable sending them their students back full time with no restrictions. But health restrictions will be in place. Thursday night, the Quakertown School Board held a virtual meeting to start discussing the measures that will be in place. It's not an easy plan to figure out. Take buses for an example. I think the uh, the numbers say something like 11 students would fit on a bus if we did the six foot social distance. East Penn and Allentown School District both say they will reopen with face to face instruction in the fall with guidelines in place. However, both districts say parents will also have the option of remote learning if they're not comfortable sending their kids back at the start of school. And an email sent to parents Thursday, East Penn Superintendent Kristen Campbell says their remote learning will be more rigorous than the model used back in the spring. And they plan to unveil their health and safety plan on July 13th. Sarah Madonna, 69 News.